Greetings, everyone. I am Lotus Prince, and for this, the first game of the second half of our Pseudo 51 Athon is Shadows of the Damned. This is one of those games I've heard some complaints about regarding linearity or length or something like that, but on paper, it sounds like the greatest thing that could ever be conceived. You've got the ultimate golden trifecta. Obviously, it's a Pseudo 51 game. That's one. Number two, it's also being worked on by Shinji Mikami of Resident Evil fame. You'll recall that Killer7 was a collaborative effort between Suda51 and Shinji Mikami. But the third person, this is different. The music is done by the glorious Akira Yamaoka of Silent Hill fame. So I have very high hopes for this. When I was at a friend's house, actually Vice the Bull's house, he had the game a while back so I played a little bit of it up to the first boss. I was definitely liking what I saw so far. This game's got a great sense of humor, it's got personality and attitude all the time, and dick jokes. Oh god, the dick jokes. I have no way of proving this, or even knowing if it's true, but I swear to god, someone must have made a bet with Suda51 saying like, how many dick jokes do you think you could put in the game? It's like, what if I built the game around them entirely? Like, I'm talking, the villain's head looks like a dick. Um, he makes dick puns. Your little floating skull buddy's name is Johnson. When he turns into a gun, it's called the boner. It's like, Jesus Christ, this is unbelievable. And you're playing as a total badass demon hunter, Garcia Hotspur. And his middle name may actually be fucking. Garcia fucking Hotspur. They say that every once in a while, and I think I read somewhere his middle initial is in fact F, so that might be his name. Yeah, so this is going to be a trip. I definitely look forward to playing this game, and I hope you enjoy it. Let's go crazy. Nice looking logo. Very nice. And unreal. That's one way to open it. I shall. Adjust the slider until the skull is barely visible. By the way, one thing I should point out is at this screen right here. I got a trophy saying welcome to hell when I first turned the game on, so you get a trophy for turning the game on. I'm going to increase brightness for the sake of viewability. Control mode. I guess it'll be okay. Hey, it defaults the subtitles on. Nice. Oh man. So good. Damn right. You thought all Yamaoka could do was creepy sound effect music? You thought wrong. I think I'm going to like this. Oh 
Oh boy. The bullet train is here, Hell Monkey. As if you mortals can be saved with one little squeeze. Kill me, and I shall be replaced by another. And another. And another still. You cannot point that pet gun of yours at all. <laughs> and wherever you are not looking is where the greatest threat shall be. One at a time, we shall seize the treasures of your life as spoils and leave only emptiness and despair. My last gifts to you. <laughs> Just don't forget to wrap them. Put the claws. <laughs> also, his belt says, "Kill me." Hotspur. How is your dear sweet Paul? Is she hanging in there? <laughs> Fuck you! What a weird loading screen. And what weird music to accompany it. Well, we're in. Let's see what we got. Options. Why aiming camera? It's the you know, same stuff. Johnsonopedia. We don't know anything's go going on. I don't know. All right, let's go back out. I guess we'll begin. Walk and look. Yeah, left stick, right stick. That's how I move around. X does a quick turn. That looks kind of like the Grasshopper manufacturer logo. Also. Does that say Tanto? Also, I can quick look while aiming. Did you see that? Well, those sweet lasers coming out. Can't do anything with that. Shit. I really hope that that's a picture of Paula. <laughs> this is giant. I better do something about that. Uh, this whole—I was hoping she has this giant picture of herself in the room. Sweet globe. I can't do anything with it. Bunch of guitars. Really cool art. Stag. Sexy clock. Seriously, these amps could kill somebody. Sweet ass view. Yeah, this is the opening segment, so I think I have infinite ammo. I've played this one part before. That's freaking dark. Starring Paula? Oh God. That's some starring role. Oh God. Wow. That is dark. Check this out. Aim normally, hit him, you eventually kill him. Headshots should do the trick. See it flashing like that? Yeah, there you go. Now I believe, yeah. Well, 
Well, I already reloaded. I believe... You get something special if you headshot them on your first shot. Oh, God. Let's try it. Damn. All right, let's try this. Yeah! Sweet dynamic angle, or camera. Damn. I gotta break out my Resident Evil 4 skills. God damn. Damn. Well, you can move while aiming, that's a huge improvement. Even Resident Evil 4 couldn't offer that, I can even reload while moving. Where are they? Ah. Nice. Uh-oh. Ha-ha! <laughs> You're gonna wanna not do that, buddy. Where the hell... I was back in her room. Oh, God. I'm bad at this. Guys, you wanna hands off there? Hands, hands off. Thank you. Ooh, I think she might be dead. Holy crap! That's some phallic head. You let my onion go now, stranger, and maybe I will blow your head off nicely. Can't you see the little peach is coming on to me? Why wow, sucks? Come on to this, pendejo. <laughs> oh, demon hunter. Your bullets have no bite, no penetration. Ugh. <laughs> you need more thrust. Two dick jokes in a row. That was just the appetizer, Hotspur. A taste of what's in store. So you know my name. And you don't know mine. Please, call me Fleming. Oh, you're not going to get the bounty over one little blonde bombshell? Tell you what, you can have the girl back, but as new. If you atone for your sins against me for slaying my legion of demons, admit that you challenged a greater power and lost. Admit that your endowment really? will never measure up to my own. I will admit you're a fucking asshole. Did you see him stroking that tall staff? <laughs> so be it. Place for Paula has now been set at my table, mortal. You cannot have her back now. But come to my castle in the underworld, and you could still join in our revels. Such a tempting offer. I do love a party. Maybe we could play Pong. Pong? Two shots! <laughs> Damn! I would say, you slay me, Hotspur, but you don't, you can't. <laughs> wow. Now say goodbye to Paula. She has a lot of dying to do. That's and rough. Back to life and dying some more. I like to keep my mistresses guessing. Wow, that sucks. Yes, help her. Because in the meantime, I'll be helping myself. You know, I kind of don't want this to count as one of the puns, but what a dick. That's how the game opens. This sucks. <laughs> as himself. 
Also, his name is a pun. Highway to the underworld is stretched out before us. Doesn't mean we have to. Is there a problem, Johnson? Well, I'm just saying, demons are buttholes. You really wouldn't like it there. <laughs> Says the former demon. What's wrong? Lost your spy. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Look, if you want to go to the underworld, good on you. But you don't know that place. Look, look, look. Look what they did to me! A few little transgressions, and now I'm doomed to an eternity of heavy metal jokes and <laughs> posing for pirate flags. Nice. Even worse for mortals. Then all the more reason to go. They have Paula. So the way I see it, you are either with me or you don't. No! I love this guy. <sighs> Get on. By the way, welcome Vamanos. The underworld to... lies just oh. beyond the sound barrier. How do you know? That's like super classified demon information. <laughs> Not according to the internet. Uh, get ready for a kick-ass song. Oh god, yes. Freaking Yamaoka. I don't even want to start a new game. Listen to this freaking song. God damn. Oh, I want to play this game so bad, but I want to hear this song. I guess I better do it. It's a bunch of stuff. I'm assuming the options aren't anything different. Alright. This song's so good! Oh, I, gotta, I gotta end it though. <laughs> Lemon Hunter. Get it? Because it's all sort, of, sort of demons and Ellen's dead. Also, is Johnson blinged? Look at all that crap on the bike. Alright, let's get going. By the way, actually, his form now still looks rather phallic. Like he's a skull in the end of a giant... Like, Oh, I haven't even started the game yet. But it was so good. Man, they're just throwing out trophies like they're nothing. <laughs> you made it to the prologue. Good job. Act 1-1. One, one. Oh, you made it past the prologue. 2-1. Normal demons are not covered with darkness and can be killed with any weapon except the light shot. Shooting normal demons with the light shot will freeze them in place for a short amount of time. Can I do anything? You got the little cursor on my guy. It still says loading. Alright, let's do it. Take me to hell. He is blinged out the ass. Look at that. Was that a conscious decision? This is your old barrio, right, Johnson? Then you can be my tour guide. Me? But I quit the whole demon thing ages ago, and really, my memory's absolute rubbish. Oh, I'm sure it will come back to you in no time. Relax, amigo. This is going to be an adventure. Our very own road movie. And the best part is, you never know what's waiting around the bend. I don't know if that's the best part, considering I have to play this and not die. By the way, how cool is that? The transition. And now I actually have ammo. Can I... Good. Good. Very good. Yep, I can dash. Oops, aimed wrong. It's a lot of keys. Or it's unlocked, alright. Whoa. Oh. I what you see. 
<risa> ¡Qué magnífico! Puedes ver en su casa. Jeez. What a badass. Well, won't be on this side of the door. Damn. Also, let me see something. Now that I'm actually playing, do we have anything on weapons? Still no? Just checking. Upgrade menu. Yep. Weapons totally called the boner. That's what I wanted to show you. Let's try it again. Alright. Let's start this road movie with some road kill. That's right, G. Don't let all that peace and quiet push you around. Huh. When demons hear the name Garcia fucking Hotspur, they run the other way. All right. Johnson, what the hell is that thing? Holy cow! I don't believe it! Willie! That's one-eyed William! Willie? Really? One-eyed? Ugh! This game does not give. This game does not Friend quit. Yours. Are you kidding? William is my aunt's first husband's adopted son from the Ukraine. Then you are practically brothers. From Ukraine? You think he knows Sylvia Crystal? <laughs> because how that's how that works. I'm from the same giant ass country. Of course, I know everyone there. I can't see shit up ahead. The underworld be a shadowy place. Anyway, not a problem. Take a look over there. You see that lamp? Hanging on the wall? I can light that up for you. The light shot, of course. Give it a try, G. Yeah, this is gonna be a game mechanic. There. Did I brighten your day? What can I say, Johnson? You are the right tool for every job. So Probably another dick joke. Some demons. And I'm sure you'll have your chance. They hate my light shot. Leaves a nasty rash. Alright, well. well. I've already seen these. Oh, you don't really... Oh, you don't read it. It's just a... Uh, reminder of control mechanics. Okay, okay. So that's where I probably need to go. Because, well, well, unless this opens... Bring out your dead. And you guys want to greet me? Hey, buddy. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Save up those white gems, G. He actually says ka-ching. Ah, crap. Damn. Is he just too far? Alright. Strafing while aiming is a wondrous thing. Demons are not very talkative. What have they got to talk about? Once your soul rolls into town, that's it. You're damned. And Fleming doesn't let anybody off the hook. He sounds like a real dick, Tater. Uh -huh. <laughs> Even for me, that was awful. And the fact that he hung on to the word, oh god, that was bad. Alright, so... Normal demons not covering. We already read that in the loading screen. Okay. White gems. Currency. Buy new items from vending machines or Christopher. Haven't seen either yet. Hanging lamp. Yeah, that'll that'll blow away demons in the darkness. Light shot. Freezing demons. I think attacking dark demons. Attacking dark anything really. Does light shot cost ammo? No, it doesn't. Oh, good. So I can go in there. What's this? Nothing. Alright. Can I check anything in the tunnel yet? It's a dead end. Golly, that was easy. 
Actually, is this anything? There are there are notices you can read in this game. Absinthe? Screaming ramen? Puppet government? Just can't... Like, that is readable. I just can't read it. Something about summer and winter games. Well, t tr take my word on this. You can read it. I just... It's small for me. Music's pretty sweet, too. Johnson, why is there a goat head hanging on the wall? Oh, well, everybody knows that goats are a source of light. <laughs> what? Right, of course. That is going to be a royal pain in the ass. Ugh, that, that's going to be the game mechanic that pisses me off throughout the last play. Like, it's a cool game mechanic, but it's going to be what frustrates me during levels. Did I just... Oh, I thought I hit something. Whoa. Whoa. Ugh. Well, they're gonna fight me, aren't they? Most new arrivals in the underworld are condemned to guard doors like this for the first hundred years. Oh, we all have to start somewhere. Jesus, that's harsh. I'll check with him shortly. I probably can go in there later. Hey, buddy. Garcia? What? Paula, come back! I probably should never Paula. dash in the underworld. Easy, this place is full of deceptions and dirty tricks. A box? Whoa. Oh, okay, good. G? Is that like I'm the king or is it like a wanted poster? I can see it. Bottom. All right. Well, I'll take the box. Is that a floating strawberry? Oh, give me, give me, give me. Oh, these things are like demon catnip. When I was little. Johnson, do I take this strawberry? Yes. Jeez. Excuse me for having a little fruit fantasy. <laughs> when I was little. And you'll notice that that was the symbol on the baby. He wanted the strawberry. The baby is always going to want one of three things. You see the strawberry is one of three circles in there. So you got to give the baby the right item and then he'll open the door for you. So when's that goat head going to flip hey, out of it? Don't you dare give my strawberry to that sprog on the door. Sorry, buddy. No. Gee, you berry squanderer. You really slamming his mouth. Jesus. Whoa. That is one creepy happy face. Well, they're gonna attack later, you know it. Ugh. Probably readable, but I can't read. Oh! At least there's one good thing about the underworld. What liver damage? That's the beauty of it. In the underworld, you don't die from drinks. They unkill people here. <laughs> Now, does that mean it'll unkill me, or, like, is it a matter of being in the world, owns the world, or do you have to be a demon? Paula. Hey, it's an Ouroboros. Hey, it's like Resident Paula. Evil 4, you just pop out. Drinks. I just, that's it. I think it heals me a bit. And I think if you drink too much, you do get drunk. Also, I love how there's a button to drink again. You don't have to do the same control scheme. Whoa. Ah, is the Thanks for the drink, buddy. I'm gonna go. Uh oh, I was afraid of this. What? Why is it suddenly getting dark? This isn't ordinary darkness. If you stay in it too long, it'll suck the life out of you. Yeah. Quick, use the light shot on the goat head. You can't stay in the darkness like this. It eats away the flesh of mortals. Yep. How did you know shooting a goat would banish the darkness? How did you not know? <laughs> Some demon hunter, I say. How did you Just not know? If I have to fuck a horse to unlock a door, huh? 
Yeah, you know that that goat mechanic is going to be infuriating later. Oh, probably, yeah. We are, yeah, darkness corrupts your body. If you're in there for a while, it drains your health. But you need to have darkness sometimes to expose cores. And you must have darkness because sometimes objects show up. Goat lamps. Shoot them, turn them off. And some demons can turn them back off again. Oh, God. The darkness comes. May the rats eat your eyes. Hola. Is that you? I can't see for shit. <laughs> if only there was some way to shed light on the situation. Don't oh, you mean like this? Bitch. Just use the light oh. shot on that lamp. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Maybe the big giant glowing one. What's up with Winky? You're not doing anything for me. Oh good, autosave kicked in. Well, if that's the case, then we've hit our time. So for now, I must stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We got through the opening prologue, and we took a look at the first instances of real gameplay. And we got introduced to some of the game mechanics. We've already seen more than enough dick jokes, more than I remember there being in the first 10 freaking seconds of the game. And my god, I know I've already said this and that it's kind of a dick joke unintentionally, but Fleming is such a dick. God damn, I really hope he doesn't do what he threatened to do to Paula the entire time we're working our way to get to him. You know he's the final boss, so just approaching him is going to be freaking rough, because every second you waste, you're really going to feel that he's carrying out his threat. I hope he lets it sit for a while, because that is just freaking cruel. Well, we'll see what kind of new stuff we can run into on the next installment. It seems that there's already going to be instances of light and darkness, and darkness is physically dangerous here. Until next time, everyone.